So let's solve this nice Olympiad mathematics question. We are asked to solve for y in a to the power of 9, a y plus a to the power of 1 minus y equal to 10. To solve this question, let's reflect our mind back to one law of our indices. From that law of indices, we are made to understand that a to the power of x minus y is equal to a to the power of x, right? divided by a to the power of y. And that's the division law of indices. Now, if we apply it to this equation at this point, you come to see that that equation is going to give us a to the power of y, right? Uh, this will give us plus a to the power of 1 divided by a to the power of y, and this will be equal to 10. Great. Now, having seen this, what we need to do is to simplify. To simplify, we might decide to take the LCM of the left-hand side, or better still, we can decide to multiply through by a to the power of y. And if we multiply through by a to the power of y, this will give us a to the power of y multiplied by a to the power of y plus a to the power of 1 divided by a to the power of y multiplied by a to the power of y and this will be equal to 10 multiplied by a to the power of y. Good. Now, having done that, we are going to simplify. From this expression, you see that a to the power of y would clear a to the power of y here. And this will give us uh, a to the power of y square because we have them both multiplying plus a to the power of 1 is 8 and that will be equal to 10 multiplied by a to the power of y. Great. Now, let's look at one uh, scenario. We're going to look at, we're going to let a to the power of y to be equal to x. So what that tells us anywhere we find a to the power of y, we can replace it with what? With x. So that will give us uh, x squared, right, plus 8, and this will be equal to 10 multiplied by x. And that will be 10x. So that expression will now give us x squared plus 8 and this will be equal to 10x. So if we subtract 10x from both sides, we'll have this to become 10x minus 10x plus 8 and this will be equal to 0. Good. Now, having gotten to this point, I want us to compare this expression with a x square plus bx plus c and this is equal to zero now from this expression you see that a is equal to one when you compare these two expression a is equal to one and b is equal to negative 10 and uh, c is equal to eight so we're going to use the quadratic formula to solve this to find the value of x from the quadratic formula our value of x will be equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac and this will be divided by 2a and that is the quadratic formula now let's substitute the value of a b and c into that expression so we'll have our x to be equal to negative multiplied by negative 10 plus or minus square root of negative 10, that is this square, minus 4 multiplied by 1, a multiplied by c, which is 8. And all these will be divided by to multiply by 1. So if we simplify this further, 
we're going to have our x to be equal to negative times negative is going to give us 10 plus or minus square root of negative square is plus 10 square is 100 and this will be minus 4 times 1 is 4 4 times 8 is going to give us 32 and all these will be divided by 2 so from all these we're going to find out that the value of our x will be equal to 10 plus or minus the square root of 100 minus 32 is going to give us 68 divided by 2. Now we're going to simplify 68 so as to find a perfect square out of that 68. If we simplify 68, we're going to have this divided by 68. And what will it give us? 2 in 68 is going to give us 34, right? 2 can still go in 34 to give us 17. So if we have this as 4, 4 is a perfect square, and then we'll have 17. So that means 68 can give us 17 times 4, right? So we'll have that expression to give us x equal to 10 plus or minus square root of 4 multiplied by 17 and this will be divided by 2 so x will be equal to 10 plus or minus square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 17 divided by 2 and then that expression will give us our x would be equal to 10 plus or minus 2 root 17 and this will be divided by 2. So from this expression 2 can divide both values. So we'll have our x to be equal to 10 divided by 2 which is a common fraction plus or minus 2 root 17 divided by 2. So here 2 will clear here to give us 1. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 2 will also clear 2 and then we'll have our x to be equal to 5 plus or minus square root of 17. Great. And that is the solution to the value of x. Now, recall that from our initial expression, we made the value of h to the power of y to be equal to x. So we're going to simplify that. If a to the power of y is equal to x, from our initial expression, h to the power of y is equal to x, let's insert the value of x, and that will give us what? a to the power of y equal to 5 plus or minus square root of 17. So this is going to give us, uh, to find the value of y, recall, that's exactly what we are looking for. We are simply going to take the log of both sides. So this will give us the log of y base 8 equal to the log of 5 plus or minus square root of 17. So from the laws of logarithm, this y, which is a power, will come over here to multiply the main logarithm. So we'll have this to become y multiplied by the log of 8. And this will be equal to the log of 5 plus or minus square root of 17. So this expression is now going to give us, if we divide both sides by log of 8, log of 8, this is going to clear this and then our y will be equal to, this is now going to give us the log of 
5 plus or minus square root of 17 divided by log of 8. Now recall a law of logarithm that if we have the log of a divided by the log of b, this can be equal to the log of a base b, right? So if we have that, that expression, that logarithm will now most possibly give us the value of y to be equal to log of 5 plus or minus square root of 17 base 8. And that is exactly what we're going to have for the value of y. So our y as the solution is equal to log of 5 plus or minus square root of 17 base what? Base 8. That is the solution to that Olympiad mathematics question that is given to us up there. If you did find value watching this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and colleagues, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics solutions. Thanks so much for watching, and see you next time.